In this video, I am going to show you the setup if you're going to use the mixer plus the condenser microphone for live streaming. For example, we will be using a live streaming from this phone over here while the background music is coming from the laptop or a different device. It could be a tablet or an iPad or another phone. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let me show you the cords or cables we will need in this setup and where to connect them. So first of all, let me show you this headphone on here or earphone. So just to give you a heads up, this earphone that I will be using, this one has no built-in microphone on it. For some reason, it is not good to use the one that has built-in microphone. The audio is, uh, is not uh, that clear. So I suggest you should use the earphone or headphone that does not have a built-in microphone. I do not know uh, yet what is the reasoning behind it. Uh, maybe the expert ones can tell you, but this is only ex as per experience. So again, I suggest use the headphone or earphone that do not have built-in microphone. So this one we will be connecting to this mixer to monitor the audio. And because there is no uh, 3.5 uh, port on here, we will need this adapter. This is 6.35 male to 3.5 mm female. So we will connect this one to here, to the one that says phones, and then we will connect this earphone to that. Okay, and next let's connect uh, this uh, XLR cord or cable to connect our condenser microphone. So of course, here is our condenser microphone. Let's connect one end to here and then of course the other end to here. Let's just use number one on here. Okay, there it is. This uh, three cords or cables on here, you do not need to have all of them. Let's say for example, if your purpose is just to uh, go on live streaming without a background music, then uh, this cord should be good. And this is the TRRS, the one that has uh, three lines and the RCA. We will not be using this one. We'll only using, uh, we'll be using only this one. So again, uh, please take note. This is the one you will be needing to go on live streaming using a phone. So TRRS, the one that has three lines to RCA. And for the background music, you can use either one of this one. So this is 3.5 uh, TRS to RCA. Or you can also use this one. This is the TS uh, Mono to 3.5 TRS, so the one that has two lines. If your purpose is to go live streaming with a background music, then the two of this should be good. Or or this one. So uh, whichever you have, then the two of them should be good. So again, but make sure you have to have this one, the one that has uh, the three lines on it, because this is the one you will need to connect to your phone for live streaming. Let me show you uh, this uh, cord on here. So as you notice, it has for a video also, but we will not be using the yellow one. We will be only using this uh, white and red. So this is RCA to 3.5 mm TRRS. Okay, so the one that has three lines on it. Let's connect first to this one, the RCA to 3.5 TRRS. Okay, so we will connect this one to here. So we will need this lightning audio adapter because we will be connecting this one to this phone, which we will be using for live streaming. And that is because there is no audio port on this phone. So we will need this. If you're using an Android phone, you do not uh, need this audio adapter. You simply just connect this one here to there. Okay, so let's connect this one here. And then the other end, let's connect to this mixer on here. We will be connecting it to the one that says Rec Out. Simply white to white and red to red. Now, let's try to connect this laptop as a source of our background music. And for that, we will use this other cord. So again, RCA to TRS, this time has two lines on it. We will connect this one this time to the one that says seven slash eight. Or you can also connect this one to the next to, to this one here, the one that says 2TR in. So it's up to you if you want to connect it here or there. I just wanted it to connect to the 7 slash 8 because it has its own volume control over here. Simply red to red, white to white. And this other end we will connect 
to the headphone port of this laptop which is over here okay and this one here again you do not need to have this one if you don't have one but if you have one should be good because you can connect another source of background music if you want so it is 6.35 ts so we will connect this one this time to the one that says 5 slash 6 so from here so we just connect one there and one here and then the other end we will connect to this ipad so again because we will be using this as our other source for background music so let's just locate the headphone port of this uh, ipad let's say if you want to use another phone just connect the other end to the headphone port of that other device so it could be a tablet it could be another phone it could be uh, like this it could be an ipad and now let me show you my settings on this mixer so and let me show you again what cords i connected so far so mic one here again this is connected to this condenser microphone over there and this uh, five slash six is connected to this uh, ipad over here which i will be using later uh, for my background music and then this one here seven slash eight is connected to this uh, laptop again for the source of my background music and uh, of course this one here the rec one is connected to this uh, device on here for for uh, live streaming so this phone here and uh, this one here is for the headset or earphone or headphone that doesn't have a built-in microphone. And uh, for the settings on here, my gain is just over there and compressor is just right there, uh, maybe at one o'clock and this one is at nine o'clock the gain. Normally on here, I would just put them in the middle, the high, the mid and the low. And the effect uh, here, I'm just uh, setting it as maybe at one o'clock. And then pan is in the middle and then this is the volume for the microphone and the main volume of the microphone also can be controlled from here okay and uh, the volume for the ipad later uh, for the background music so five slash six is going to be over here and the volume from the music coming from the laptop would be from here so seven slash eight so from here Okay, and now let's go live on Facebook right away. Of course, when you open your account, you should see live on there, tap that, and you should see this one because this is just sample. I'm just gonna change this one to only me so only me can see this one. And I'm gonna hit start live now. Okay, and sound check, testing one, two. So what I will be doing is when I edit this video, I am going to uh, sync the audio coming out from that live streaming to the video I am uh, uh, taking right now. So you can hear as well whatever the uh, the uh, output, audio output from this live streaming. And now you will notice that the, uh, the vocals has no effects yet because I turn the effects return here at zero. But when I am going to turn it up, so something like that, sound check, so you will notice there is that reverb or or echo. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, the first uh, we will be doing a sample from this uh, laptop as our source of background music. Okay, so let's do a sample from, let's say you want to sing or you want to sing while doing live streaming. So you will hear the output. Okay, let's... Uh, try this song right now by the way as i mentioned earlier the volume of uh, the audio coming out from this laptop would be from here the one that says seven slash eight so this one because this one is connected to this laptop okay so it's right there we can play this one now just to check how loud it is okay so something like that if you want it louder, you can just uh, turn it to the right. Okay, so let's do a sample. Maybe let's do a sample uh, song or singing while you are on live streaming. Gave me dignity. Somehow you needed me. 
Okay, so let's pause it right there. And now let's do a sample. This time the background music is coming from this uh, iPad. So again, as I showed you earlier, the volume of the audio coming out from this uh, iPad is from here. The one that says five slash six. So let's give it a try first. Let's check how loud it is. Okay, so we can hardly hear it. That is because if you see over here, it's still at zero. So let's uh, turn it up and let's play it again. Okay, so again, the volume is from here. Or sometimes if, uh, if you notice uh, that uh, the volume is not loud yet, maybe because the source itself of your uh, audio or music is, is not uh, that loud yet. So to check, just uh, turn the volume from here. Okay, so it's almost at the max, so it should be good. Okay, so let's play it again. Okay, and now let's give it a little sample also singing. And because we will be singing, let's turn this effect on here. So there is effect sound check, testing one, two. Okay, there it is. Maybe let's move it up somewhere there for our background music. Okay, so again, let's do a little uh, sample. stop it from there and again if you want to let's say for example you want to you have two songs you wanted to sing and then all of a sudden you don't want to use this one and you want to use the one on your laptop for sure you can do that so let's switch it okay let's play this one here and let's not forget to turn the volume from here there it is Stop it from there and again if you want to sing on here on uh, using the iPad then just turn it on. Okay, there it is. So what I'm trying to point is, uh, let's say, for example, there are uh, two of you singing uh, for sure because uh, you have more microphone ports here. So it depends what kind of, uh, of a mixer do you have. If you can put two microphone on here, then that means you can use uh, two condenser microphone or maybe one is a dynamic microphone. And now if you want to use a sound effects, let's say laugh or cheer, I suggest just uh, prepare that uh, sound effects from your laptop. Let's say you are using the background music from the laptop. So you should open already, let's say open another uh, window there. So something like that, and then it's already prepared. And if you want to use it, just simply play it. <laughs> oh, no, like no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Uh, hear that or your viewers or listeners should be able to hear that background music and again if you let's say prepare another background music or sound effects let's say a plus and then it's already prepared right there and then just press it <laughs> It's like those uh, portable or live sound cards uh, from V8 or V9 or other type of sound cards. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.